Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to import CSV here in ClickUp. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in ClickUp, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just to follow the on screen instructions, and you're good to go. Importing a CSV file into ClickUp is a straightforward process that allows you to quickly bring in tasks or data from other tools or spreadsheets. Now, the first is you might want to log into your ClickUp account and select the workspace where you want to import your CSV data. Now, depending on how you set up the workspace of your account here in ClickUp, I want you to hover to the bottom left corner if you can see the profile picture here. You see, we don't have that in case it's on my upper right corner. When you click on it, the, click on these settings. And on the uh, left side panel of the dashboard, I want you to click on the imports and exports. Okay. You see, you can easily import your data directly from another tool or by using a CSV file. Okay. And of course... Yeah, you can start export. We have a separate video on how to export data here in ClickUp. But that you might want to check on our channel. But in this case, I want you to click on the Start Import button. Now, you can select source of import. You can use any spreadsheet, any document, for example, Word, Google Docs, from Asana, Basecamp, Confluence, Notion, Monday.com, Jira, Software, Todoist, Trello, and Rike. Okay? But for now, I'm going to click on this spreadsheet. Because I'm going, I'm actually working with this specific file. I'm going to make sure that this is going to be, uh, everyone has the uh, option to edit. And then once I finalize the data here, I'm going to switch over to the ClickUp. And then click on the end spreadsheet. Click import end spreadsheet. And as you can see, I'm going to upload fr uh, data from file. What I'm going to do is download a copy of this specific sheet. And remember, we're going to import a CSV or a comma separated values. I'm going to click on it and upload the data from the file. Of course, it accepts CSV, TSV, XLS, XLSX, XML.txt. But of course, we're just going to use the CSV for now. And wait for it because it's processing and the status will be shown. Once you are um, done, you see you have the option to select yes or select another row or no header for a row. All right. Just click on yes for now. You see you have all of this control. So you can decide which fields to import, skip unnecessary columns, and even add custom fields. If your CSV contains extra information that doesn't match, click up the default task fields. You can also choose where to import the task, specific list or folders, and set task statuses, priorities, or assignees during the import process. Okay? So once you're happy with that, all you have to do is click on the uh, confirm mapping, confirm mapping, ignore this column, confirm mapping. Click on review. Once you've done that, click on continue. Yes, I am ready to submit that. And of course, you need to select the workspace where you want to import, and that's going to be for deep labs. You also have an option if you want to have an extra column separated by delimiters. And in terms of the assignee, you see you can do that as well. Click on next. Once you're happy with that, imported users and do not import user, just click wait. Now your import is now in progress and they would send you a status if the import is ready. All right. And again, imports can take a few minutes up to a few hours depending on the size. While waiting, I'm going to switch over to my Excel. You see, we have a separate video on how to export Excel to ClickUp. I'm going to open my Excel and I'm going to work on a specific blank workbook. I'm going to... I'm going to uh, download this specific file from my Microsoft Excel. Go to file. I'm going to save as a CSV and then try to import this again for another workspace on ClickUp. All right. So you have multiple options on importing the tools from your ClickUp account. 
Now you see, you have another option at the bottom, the money that come in Asana. When you click on it, I want you to click the Asana if you're working with that because I have an account on Asana and we have so many tutorials about Asana topics that you might want to check on our channel. Go into allow and grant permission. I'm going to choose the workspace. I'm going to click on next. And of course, you can select the projects from Asana you want to import left and map them into your ClickUp on the right. Okay. In this case, and I'm going to be choosing the GPLAFs as per usual. And then you see you have the option on the sections that your projects have. I'm going to click on this one. I'll wait for it. And of course, from here, just click on next. I'm going to click on complete. All right. Now, you can also do that on money.com because we have, again, so many accounts on money. I mean, we have so many tutorials about money.com. All right. If you have an account here, you might want to do so as well. So you have more controls because uh, you can always choose where to import the task, like specific lists or folders, and set the task status, priorities, or assignments during the import process. Once you're happy with that, you can also go to the Jira if you have an account on Jira. And this process makes it easy to transition tasks or data from other systems into ClickUp and keep your workflow organized. You can do that as well on the Trello. Now, another way for you to be able to access the import option here in ClickUp is go to the upper left corner, your profile icon, go to settings, and there should be an option for the imports and exports, just like we did earlier. You see, I already have started from the Asana and spreadsheet. I'm going to click on again on the start import, and I'm going to choose um, the option for the uh, spreadsheet. All right, right now I'm going to use maybe um, Jira software. I'm going to import from Jira and Jira Cloud, all right? I'm going to log into my Jira Cloud. And from here, all I have to do is select or upload the backup data. Now, for example, if you have teams that have been using multiple platforms or spreadsheets for task management, they can now consolidate everything into ClickUp by importing CSV files, bringing together all data for improved collaboration and tracking. And of course, this provides flexibility, speed, and accuracy, making them a valuable feature for onboarding data, organizing complex projects, and of course, integrating external systems with ClickUp. Because CSV basically allows you to quickly upload those custom fields in bulk, helping with reporting and detailed project progress all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one